Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am here doing a random reading, but this one's a bit interesting because I was changing some things on the altar here at the table and um, a, a very small um, memes deck, right? Um, I was moving that and there were two cards that dropped on the floor and they're these and I figured well we should probably talk about them then right so I feel like there's a karmic here who is their mask is coming off right and they're showing their true self here and they're starting to I feel like it could be mental issues it could be some kind of I, they're starting to go crazy okay they're showing their true side um, their true self here. They can no longer cover up um, and come off as sweetie sweet. You know, the devil in disguise, that's what I'm hearing. Walks like an angel, talks like an angel, but I've got eyes. You're the devil in disguise. Oh, yes, you are devil in disguise. Mm, right um yeah i feel like they tried to come across as an angel right maybe even posing as a divine feminine something like that but um they're actually the devil in disguise there's something very toxic underneath um underneath the fake facade and the mask is coming off right Anyway, um, this reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does resonate, toss out the rest, you know, don't try to force it, right? And thank you so much, everyone, for the likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, all of the love. Thank you so much for everything that you do that helps support this channel, right? You guys make me feel awesome, too, by the way. I just want to say that. Thank you for making me feel awesome. <laughs> I love you guys. All right, but yeah, these two cards just kind of, they were the only two cards that fell on the floor. And I like, um, I had cards, like decks of cards all over the place. So um, yeah, I'm like, that's a message. Um, so we're going to we're going to see what's going on in the karmic situation. OK, maybe we can find out something um, what's happening behind the scenes. Right. Anyway, divine, what do you have for the collective? All right. This could be a commitment to that. This person, I feel like they just uh, they're concerned about money. Right. Um, and I'm picking up on jealousy about you. You could be financially stable right now. Yeah, I feel like this person's just not the masculine here in this situation. King of Pentacles energy. I feel like um, they've got a lot of finances here. They're very financially stable or they could have been um, taking care of this person, right? Providing for this karmic in a commitment now they're they're looking back on things like oh this isn't what i signed up for right because like they thought they were with somebody that was happy and sweet and positive you know an angel but they are the devil in disguise and they're realizing that now i feel like they feel very stuck with this karmic providing for them in um in a commitment okay this could be all about money finances I feel like they're, they're, the karmic may be upset, too, because this person, they could even have some bad health, just spending a lot of time working um, to provide. And, they're yeah, they're looking back on this like they feel absolutely stuck. They feel stuck. And they're thinking about the other options that they had. And I feel like it's you. I feel like there's some jealousy competition here between the karmic and you collective. I feel like um, you were one of this king's options, right? And they kind of covered you up like they, they, I don't know if this person turned their nose up at you before. That's kind of what I'm feeling like here. Um, and they, they're, now they're realizing, though, they're seeing something about you that's telling them that you can manifest your own abundance. They're thinking about um, the options that they've had in the past or thinking about other options around them. This karmic is, and the karmic is losing it. Yeah, they're in regret. This masculine's in regret for turning their back on you because they're realizing now that... Um, 
this life with this karmic isn't what they signed up for. Like I said, they're showing their true colors now. They, they've, they've gotten committed to the devil in disguise. And they're realizing this. This masculine is realizing this. He could be dealing with the Virgo, um, Taurus, Capricorn. Yeah, whatever they chose over you with this karmic here, it, there's nothing but blood in, and sand. There's no love in those cups. All they've gotten was hurt. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not looking good here for this karmic situation. And here you are, out of the see, and they're watching you succeed. Taking, the, taking control of your own life and saying, I'm not waiting for this person anymore. Um, I'm not dealing with this kind of karmic stuff anymore. I'm, I'm in charge of my own life. I feel like you are a single person out here and these two are in a commitment, okay? You're growing something extremely abundant. You've got nine pentacles here just for you. Just for you. And this is all something that you worked for, right? That you nurtured. It could be a, a creative project. It could be your job, um, business. You could, have, you could be a boss, business owner, entrepreneur, but this is all for you. And the most you can have in the deck is 10. The only thing you don't have is that 10th pentacle that's going to lead to a long-term commitment with someone, a partnership that's built to last. Really, the only thing you don't have here is love, right? Um, but you're loving on yourself. So you really don't need anyone in this energy. And uh, honestly, you're you're kind of like I, I I'm feeling like you've been through a lot, and you may even just want to be single. You may want to remain single for a while, work on your finances, your stability, your business, go after the things that you want to do with your life. You know, and this person is like, oh man, I had a chance at somebody who is actually independent and growing something huge, and I and I turn my back on that for a karmic who is actually the devil in disguise and just wants me for money, right? Yeah, this person's broken hearted. I feel like there's a, there's a lot of fighting going on wherever they are. I mean, the karmic doesn't look too happy. And they're starting to snap, I feel, um, because they're, they're very codependent on this masculine and you're out here independent with a lot of money, a lot of financial stability that you're growing. If you haven't seen that yet, whatever you're nurturing right now, I feel like it's going to pay off. Um, yeah, and this is coming to an end with you. This, and now this masculine, all they can do is think about you. That's all they can do is think about you. But I feel like this to me is like a closed door because this person sabotaged this. They sabotaged this. For somebody who was just wanting them to provide for them, a karmic um, who is codependent on them for money and competing with you. Okay, I don't think you're competing with anyone. You're focused on just you. Yeah, this, this masculine feels like they've been took, right? Yeah, they feel kind of ripped off, um, backstabbed, betrayed here. Yes, they could be finding out some kind of truth. Clarify this Ace of Swords. That's left them feeling betrayed. I feel like they may need to like speak up for themselves here a little bit too instead of kind of cowering here in bad health, looking back on, you know, feeling stuck on this commitment here with the karmic feel like they need to speak their truth yeah i feel like this person's been duped you know they they feel a little bit uh cheated out of an awesome soulmate connection you they can't stop thinking about you yeah, they want to build something with you. You're, you're, you're everything that this karmic isn't. Okay, for real. The karmic, this karmic may be competing with you. You're not competing. You're just focused on you. And you are everything that they are not. 
and this this masculine can now see this okay I feel like at one point you know like I said they had you as another option look at all the cups right and they put you on a shelf thinking that it was funny thinking that they um, were better than you or more stable so you know um, yeah and I feel like they just sat on this thinking it was it was a, a joke and now they're realizing they sat on this for far too long they want to work with you you're the strong one you're the one who's growing something you've got the knowledge the drive okay you're already committed to whatever it is you're growing you're already loyal to yourself and this person now they want to work with you because you're literally everything that this karmic isn't you've got integrity you're honest right you're not uh, you're not pretending to be something you're not and that's what this karmic did and underneath it all they're the devil in disguise yeah this person feels like they've been betrayed but it was their own choices you know they made a decision and they walked away from somebody who was innocent, right? You just wanted to love this person. You would have never hurt this person. And you were telling them the truth. You were honest with them. You were yourself with them. And I feel like this person thought you were naive. Okay, I feel like they could have been hiding the fact that they may have already been with the karmic when they, when they got with you. But, you know, um, there's a lot of different scenarios of what this person did to you. But the point is, is they made a huge mistake and they can see that now because the karmics have ripped off their masks and they can clearly see how well you're doing, how much of a success you're doing, and all of the characteristics and strengths that it takes to get where you are. You know, you have to be strong through this whole thing. They can see this now. I feel like that this person, they, they lied, they betrayed, they had in and out energy, and you're actually a high priestess. This person may even be trying to hide some secrets. Yeah, I, I feel like... Um, I feel like this was an opportunist. Okay, this earth sign uh, masculine was an opportunist. And I feel like um, maybe they even had some warnings not to mess with the high priestess here. You've got work to do for the divine. You're highly intuitive, okay? Um, and I feel like uh, they did. They messed with you. Now, now um, they're being told, choose a path. They're being shown, have you learned your lessons yet? For going up against a high priestess uh, energy here. For a clingy individual who really just wanted them for money. They're being told they need to choose a path. Who do they want to be committed to? Who do they want? Who can they build with? Clarify this Queen of Pentacles. I feel like they're they're making their decision. This person wants you. They don't want to be with a crazy karmic. And the karmics are showing their true self to these masculines, okay? You could be dealing with the Taurus, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, it's it it's like they committed to the wrong person here and they know it. They know it. They got committed to the wrong person. Um, and I feel like it was for all the wrong reasons. And they had a chance to choose a path. I feel like they had a chance to come towards you and they didn't. And um, now they're feeling stuck with this individual in a commitment that's all about money. I'm telling you. This person's having a really hard time at night, okay? Um, they can't eat, they can't sleep, they keep thinking about the mistake they made and how they treated you and all that they lost when they turned their back on you. And it's driving this person nutty because it's almost like they're working their fingers to the bone 
trying to provide for this karmic. And if it's not enough, I feel like the karmic freaks out. I feel like the, the yeah, and it's to the point now where they're, they've lost all their finances here. They've, they're losing their help, their health because they're um, working themselves, just trying to provide for this person. Um, they followed the wrong person out in the cold. That's what this person is thinking about. They're worried about money. They're worried about their job, their business. They're worried about, uh, they could be worried about losing a home, not being able to pay the mortgage. They're starting to get health issues because of the stress. This person could have a lot of headaches. Um, I feel like they need help here. Okay, I feel like they, they need some kind of help. Yeah, the, you know, this person who once thought they were better than you, um, they're seeing things a whole lot differently now. And the karmic, they're seeing the karmic a whole lot differently now. This is getting clarity, guys. They're pretty clear on everything here. All right, what else can you tell me here for this situation? Yeah, they know that they made a bad decision, and they're really sad. This is a lot of anxiety. Um, yeah, lovers in reverse. They they should have made a decision when they had a chance to, but they didn't. And and I, I feel like um, this is this is how they're ending up here. Uh, like I said, out in the cold, man. It's cold and harsh where they are. They're, they're either working themselves into the ground to try to provide for this person, or they're just losing a lot of money here. Um, bad health. Yeah, they, they chose the devil over the divine. And that's what happens. Okay? This, this is what happens when you choose the devil over the divine. It'll make, it'll make something look really good, right? But it's the devil in disguise. That's who they, who they got with instead of you. This person is sick over this. I just feel like they're sick over it, okay? Yeah, they're having a very hard time with this information. Yeah, they played their, their love. They played you. They kept you in the dark. And now I feel like this person's upset. They're upset now that they know the truth. They're really, uh, they're angry. Um, they're feeling kind of like a victim here. Feeling betrayed by the karmic, but the karmic actually did their job. The karmic did what they were supposed to be doing in this situation to teach this person a freaking lesson. And they're learning it like... In the worst ways possible, can you imagine the stress that this person is under? You know, everything seems to be going wrong in their life right now. All right? Things are starting to diminish, dwindle, be destroyed, right? And here you are when they see you and they're watching you. All you do is keep winning, okay? For every win you have, they have a failure, so, you know, um, and they realize, yeah, they look, they should have chose the blessing. They should have chose the blessing. Now this person's praying, please, God, please, can I please have a second chance with the collective? Please, 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 can I please reverse time and make a different choice, right? This person's praying for another chance with you. Yeah, that's all they can think about. I feel like they're walking around during the day really mopey, right? Um, feeling ashamed, okay? Maybe even embarrassed, trying to hide how they feel underneath that giant cloak. Um, nighttime is really bad for this person. I feel like they get a lot of clarity at night when it's quiet, you know, and they can pick up on the messages, but it's literally, it's making them feel worse. It's making them feel worse because they know, I, I feel like they're, they're figuring out that this is like a spiritual war, right? 
and they chose the wrong side. Even when the divine gave them chance after chance after chance after chance to come in and make the, the, the right decision for them, they still overturned it, staying with this toxic individual. And doing that uh, brought them out in the cold with a lot of trouble and trauma and financial issues and health issues and home issues and just everything. It's everything in this one card. It's alarming with the bell around this person's neck. You know, so they've got day-to-day -day stresses, but they also now have the stress of knowing that they they chose the devil team instead of the divine team, okay? Now they want to reach out to you, but I'm, as they sit here thinking, I'm hearing, is it too late? Is it too late? Because um, it may be, yeah, it may be too late. I feel like they, this person left you sitting here waiting for them to reach out to you for a long time time okay and you used your intuition now I feel like you've made a decision here you're you're cutting people out that kept you in the dark so it may be too late for this person they're praying though they're praying they can get another chance with you this is what they want this is what they want yeah judgment I feel like judgment's being called on this person, though it seriously may be too late for them to come in. And um, they're not separating yet from this karmic. The karmic is just flipping out. Yeah, this is their justice. It's too late for all that they did to you. And now they want to come back in. They want to see if you'll talk to them. Yeah, your justice is in your favor. You're a star out here. You're a star. You've healed yourself. You're doing something for the divine out in the public eye, receiving messages, giving messages. You could be another tarot card reader out here, somebody with a platform, um, helping other people, okay? Whether you know it or not, you're out, you're putting yourself out here and you're getting a lot of, attracting a lot of attention. People are totally digging what you're doing, okay? So whatever it is you're doing with love, it's helping other people, all right? Um, they can see how beautiful you are. All this person can do is watch you, and you're easy to spot. Look at all of this love. Very spiritual person here with the Queen of Cups and the Star. Uh, spirituality is in this cup. Your intuition, your discernment, um, how you receive and and deliver messages, right? All of that love, the nurturing that you have, the empathic healing ability that you have. Um, that's why the divine puts you out in the public eye and all this person can do is like watch you. And that's the justice in this. They watch you have a glow up. They watch you be loving and they want that love. And that they want this life with you. But man, they chose the devil. They chose the wrong team. This is part of their lesson, is to have to watch you move forward while they're out in the cold. They're literally suffering here, okay? They are. They're suffering. You may not think they are, but they are. Yeah, they're watching you move forward. That's what this person has to do, is just sit back and watch. And, um, yeah, I feel like they totally chose the karmic over you and didn't care at the time. Now they care. Now they're realizing they're going broke. They're realizing they're getting health issues from this. And they're totally seeing the karmic's true colors, okay? Feeling stuck with them. I feel like I don't know who I am anymore. Yeah, they're feeling lost. They're feeling stuck. And it's because they chose the wrong team here. They chose the devil instead of the divine. I fantasize about getting a second chance with you. What have I been saying, guys? Yeah, they would do just about anything to get a second chance with you. Okay, they're praying. They're praying. And I feel like this person thought they were above that. But they're, this person, I feel like they're on their knees 
Time passes, but my feelings don't change, even though you no longer trust me with your heart. What else does this person want to say? I still feel deeply connected to you, but I won't admit it. Yeah, I feel like they, they've been hiding how they feel. They had a ch many chances to speak their truth, though. I feel time's up for this person. Would I be rejected if I contacted you? Do you still want me? I'm coming to you with an offer. Will you say yes? When I offer you my hand, will you take it? See, the divine, yeah, and that, that was in this reading too. The divine wants, to, wants them to figure out who it is that they want to commit to. And I feel like they want to choose you now. Praying for another chance. It's always been you. I don't know how to tell you the truth. I want a new beginning. Told ya. Told ya so, collective. Yeah, they're praying for a second chance with you. I feel like this person will reach out, but they are afraid you're going to reject them after everything that they put you through and after the long time they made you wait and, and they were smug about it, okay? Now that everything is dwindling for them because they chose the devil, now they want to switch over and choose the divine. Okay? Anyway, collective, listen, that's what I've got for this reading. Um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. Um, if you like this video, please click the like button, right? And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you like this vibe and it resonates with you, you know. And until next time, everyone, know that I love you all. Take care of you and peace out.